Hey guys, it's Philippa Hanna here and welcome to Inspiration 365, 365 days of inspiration. I wanted to focus March on self-esteem, confidence, beauty, self-image, so it seemed like a perfect time to do a Behind the Song Sunday about the song I Am Amazing. This song has been a game changer for me. I've been writing songs quite a long time when I wrote I Am Amazing and the moment I started playing that song, I just had the most incredible response from people. I never expected in a million years so many people would come and speak to me about this song, send messages to me about this song. I never expected that it would reach the far off places that it's reached. And there's a reason for that. The reason is so many people of all ages struggle with that feeling of being not good enough of feeling ordinary. Most of us at some point have even been told we're ordinary or we're not good enough. And that's where the song came from for me. When I was 13, I started writing songs and I loved it. For the first time, I felt like, wow, I'm good at something. My dad bought me this keyboard and a four track and I wrote about 60 songs in my first couple of years of having that equipment. It was just a passion for me. I loved it. I loved being able to create something out of nothing. I loved the look on my parents' faces when I came downstairs and went, I've got a new song, you want to hear it? And guys, those songs are the only reason I ever set foot into the music industry. I didn't want the spotlight on me. I didn't have a lot of confidence, so I certainly didn't want to be famous. But I had these songs. To me, they were like treasures that I wanted to share with the world. But being someone who wasn't very confident and having struggled with mental health issues, going out into the public forum was very difficult for me. I did audition after audition after audition. I was in a pub karaoke competition where I didn't place. The lady who won was about 40 years older than me and was dressed head to toe in leopard print. More power to her. I did a TV competition where I came last and I really began to wonder what was wrong with me? What am I missing here? I had a lot of ability. I know I had talent and it just didn't make any sense to me that I kept being rejected. I never seemed to be the one that got the call to say, we'd like to invite you back for another audition or you've got the part. And then one day, a producer in London answered that question. He told me what was wrong with me. He told me I was too ordinary looking for the music industry. I walked into his office, I had my CD, I was so excited to be in front of this important guy. He was super cool, he had platinum discs on his walls, he'd worked with so many great people. And I sat down and I put my CD on. He was listening and he was nodding his head and tapping his feet and he was like, okay, cool, let me hear another one. After I played him about three or four songs, he called his assistant in. They sat down together, listened a little bit, exchanged some glances, and when the music stopped, they shared this knowing look, and then they looked at me, and he said to me, don't take this the wrong way. I like your music, I think you've got something here, but you're just a little ordinary looking for the music industry. And my heart just sank like a stone. I felt completely deflated. I felt ashamed. I looked down at my jeans and my t-shirt that I'd traveled all the way down to London in on the coach and just thought, wow, maybe I should have made more of an effort. And then he got out some pictures of some of the other artists that he was working with. And guys, they were supermodels. All of them were really skinny, tall, perfect skin, amazing teeth, incredible style. And I looked at those pictures and I looked down at myself and I thought, yeah, he's right. I'm ordinary. I thanked them for their time. They offered to hook me up with a couple of their writers and I left. And all the way home on the coach, that word, ordinary, 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 went round and round in my head. I trusted that guy and I believed him when he told me I was too ordinary. So from that day onwards, whenever I went into an audition, whenever I sent my music away to anyone, the word ordinary was in the back of my head. And when I didn't get the call, I would look myself in the mirror and go, it's because you're too ordinary, Philip Hare. I used to go out on nights out with my friends and I'd end up crying in the toilets because I was ordinary. I'd end up crying in the toilets saying, if there is a God, why would he do this to me? Why would he give me this passion for singing? Why would he give me an ability to write songs if my face is not good enough? I didn't believe in God back then, but I thought if there was a God, he was cruel because he'd only given me 50% of what I needed. I walked around with that word ordinary over my shoulders for years until 2004 and I walked into a church. And as I listened to the music and prayed and asked God to give me a new life, because I had just no idea what I was gonna do with mine. I wasn't good at anything else other than music, but I didn't have the full package, apparently. And when I began my faith journey, something else began in me. I felt like it was this makeover. 
this inward spiritual mental makeover where I began to look in the mirror and see a whole person, the whole package, because I believe that's what I am. Someone with everything they need for their destiny. No, I might not have the best face in the world. I might not have the best body. I might not even have the best songs or the best voice, but I believe I was created with everything I could ever need for the life I'm gonna lead. And I'm determined to make a difference in this world with what God has given me. And I'm not gonna stare in the mirror anymore and say, ordinary. I'm gonna learn to say, I am amazing. I am amazing. And you're amazing too. Some of you guys might have been bullied. You might have been told you're ugly. You might have been told you're worthless. Some of you guys have been made fun of because of your race or your background or your sexuality or the color of your skin. I just wanna tell you, you're amazing. Close out the noise of all that negativity and darkness. So say it with me guys, I am amazing. And if I have one prayer from this entire 365 series, it's that you would walk away believing those words. Thank you so much for joining me today on Inspiration 365. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share with your friends. I'm going out on tour in April, so if you want to hear my music live, please go to the link in the description for tickets and other details. So until tomorrow, please tell that person in the mirror they're amazing. Over and out. Thanks so much for joining me today on... Thank you so much today. <laughs> My hair is pretty hopeless. It is what it is. And I look really shiny. Hey guys, it's Philip Hannah here and welcome to Inspiration365. 365 days of inspir... 365 days... Hey guys, it's Philip Hannah here and welcome to Inspiration365. 365 days of inspiration... Why are you staring at me? My dog freaks me out. <laughs>